Hey beautiful soul, I really feel like words do this pattern no justice, but I'm gonna do my best. This is our Sunset Diamonds shawl by Warda, and it was inspired by a trip that she took to the beach. As she was watching the sunset, it started to rain, and all those droplets of rain looked like millions of little glimmering diamonds reflected through the radiant sunlight. So she knew she had to capture that moment in a crochet pattern. This design has a stunning vintage appeal, and it has beautiful little lacy sections with gorgeous little diamonds throughout, and also some solid sections to give your eye a place to rest, just like the rain falling on the horizon. And have no fear, I know it looks complex, but it is actually perfect for the adventurous beginner crocheter. It's a beautiful triangle shape with a striking border and a beautiful color shift. To create this breathtaking gradient, we used five colors of our hand-dyed alpaca silk lace yarn, marled. So that just means that we held the yarn double through out the project, shifting the colors subtly to create this beautiful ombre look. An easy way to hold your yarn double without having to split your skeins into two balls is to wind a center pull ball and pull from the center and the outside and hold those together. And we do have a video tutorial on how to make one of these with and without equipment if you'd like to check that out. The color palette is our epical hues and it's buttery soft with a bit of a sheen to it. It has a nostalgic vintage vibe to it so I think this color palette with this shawl pattern makes this worthy of becoming an heirloom piece. Also, I'm going to be giving away a set of this beautiful epical hues later in this video so keep a watch for that. You can download this pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there, go ahead and sign up for email updates and we'll We'll let you know when our next weekly free knit or crochet pattern goes live. So let's learn how to make this shawl. To make this you are going to need lace weight yarn and two different hook sizes and that is very important for this project. You're going to change hook sizes depending on if you're working a solid section or a lacy section. So that is going to keep your shawl looking beautiful and all the edges nice, neat, and crisp. So using your smaller hook we're going to start by creating a magic ring. So just grab your yarn and wrap it around your fingers to make an X. Go ahead and pinch that, slide your hook underneath, Grab the yarn, pull it up, and you have a little magic loop. Super cute. So we're gonna go ahead and start by working into the magic loop. For row one, you're gonna do a stacked single crochet, which counts as a double crochet. So to do that, go ahead and work a single crochet, just like you normally would. Then you're gonna chain one. Then normally, when you're working into stitches, you work into these top little legs here, we're not going to do that. We're going to actually reach here and you can see these two little legs, boop and boop, that are in the front, the little vertical bars. You're going to work into those. So grab both of those and single crochet into those. And you've now made a stacked single crochet. And so it counts as a double crochet. To continue on with row one, work four more double crochets into your magic ring. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to create the center spine of our shawl with a chain two. So one, two. Then we're going to work five double crochets also into the magic ring. One, two, three, four, and five, and that completes row one. I've gone ahead and cinched up my little magic ring and we're gonna start row two by turning. And then here in this first stitch, you're gonna work a stacked single crochet. So go ahead and start with a single crochet and you wanna keep these stitches loose and tall so that you can beautifully block those edges. So single crochet, chain one, and then remember, grab the two little vertical bars here, this one, and this one, those are the ones you're gonna work into with another single crochet. So you've stacked two single crochets on top of each other and that counts as a double crochet. Now we're gonna work a two double crochet increase into the same stitch, which just means to work two double crochets. And then you're gonna double crochet into each of the next four stitches. One, two, three and four, and we're now at the center of our shawl. So here in this chain two space, we're gonna work a shell. To work a shell, just work two double crochets into that chain two space, then chain two. So this is the center of our shawl. 
and two more double crochets into that chain two space. So that is our shell. Then you're going to double crochet into each of the next four double crochets. So we're walking down the other side of our triangle. One, two, three, and four. And then in the final stitch, we're going to work a three double crochet increase. So that just means to work three double crochets into that final stitch. One, two, and three. Rows three and four are basically the same thing. You're just gonna have more double crochets. So go ahead and work those and then come back for row five and we're gonna create some spaces. Completed row four, here's what you're gonna be looking at so far. For row five, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with our stacked single crochet. Remember to keep that nice and loose so that you can block out your beautiful edges. And then we're gonna chain one and double crochet into that same stitch. Now we're going to repeat across to the center of our row, chain one loosely, skip one stitch, and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one loosely, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. So you're just going to continue repeating that until you reach your center chain two space. Double crochet, chain one, skip. Double crochet, chain one, skip all the way down to the center double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and i'm nearing my center so go ahead and finish off with double crochet then chain one and here in your center space you're going to work a v-stitch so that just means to work a double crochet a chain two and a double crochet all into that chain two space so there's your little v-stitch then you're going to chain one loosely and double crochet into the next stitch and continue repeating down chain one loosely skip one double crochet into the next stitch chain one loosely skip one double crochet into the next stitch and do that all the way to the end of your row Chain one, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And when you get down to the end, make sure you chain one, then you're going to double crochet into the final stitch, chain one again, and double crochet into that final stitch again. For row six, we're going to turn, of course, and go ahead and start with our stacked single crochet. chain one work your second little single crochet there okay then you're gonna go ahead and work two double crochets into that same stitch one and two and this is a nice and easy row you're just gonna double crochet into each stitch and into each chain one space across so make sure you get into those little chain one spaces and into each double crochet and do that until you reach the center And when you get down to the center, you're just going to work a shell into your center chain two space. So two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and two double crochets into that chain two space. And then continue down this side, working a double crochet into each double crochet and into each chain one space. And repeat that to the end of your row. And when you reach the end, make sure you work into that final chain one space there. You're just going to work three double crochets into that final stitch. One, two, and three. And here's what we have so far after completing row six. Then rows seven through nine are very similar to the same solid double crochet rows that we've been working. So go ahead and work those and then come back for the lacy bit. 
Here's what you're gonna have once you've worked up through row nine. Now you're gonna change to your larger hook. Remember, very important for this pattern. I'm gonna stick with the same size just for demo purposes, but you remember to change when you're making your actual shawl. Now we're gonna work the lacy bits with those beautiful diamonds. So the diamonds are created by working several rows and you wanna pay attention to the stitch types that you're working and where you're working them into. For example, you're never gonna work into a cluster, only on the stitches on either side of those. You'll see as we go along. For row 10, go ahead and turn and we're gonna single crochet into the first stitch and into the next stitch. Now we're going to repeat eight times. Chain four, two, three, four, skip three stitches, skip, 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 and single crochet into the next stitch. So there's once and we're going to do it eight times. One, two, three, four, skip two, three, single crochet into the fourth stitch. So continue repeating that, two, three, four, skip, 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 single crochet. Now if you would love to win one of our beautiful epical hues, just make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, two, three, four, and comment below letting me know if you have ever crocheted a shawl before. Three, four, skip, 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 single crochet in the fourth, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, single crochet in the fourth, and continue going, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let me go ahead and count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we've worked it eight times. Then we're gonna work a chain four. And here in our center chain two space, we're gonna work two single crochets, one, two, a chain two, and two more single crochets, one and two. So all of that into our center chain two space. Now we're gonna repeat chain four, skip three single crochet nine times down this side. So I'll go ahead and get started with a chain four, two, three, four, skip, 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 single crochet into the fourth and continue repeating that. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very, very easy row. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. We're just creating some beautiful little lacy chains that we can work our diamonds into. One, two, three, and four. 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 And we're nearing the end of our row. One, two, three, and four. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's do it two more times. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And then to finish off the row, you're just gonna single crochet into that final stitch. Okay. Now go ahead and count and make sure that you have 18 of these chain four spaces. For row 11, we're gonna go ahead and turn and start with our stacked single crochet. Remember to keep it loose. Okay, and again, that counts as a double crochet. Now you're gonna chain four, two, three, and four, and you're gonna skip one single crochet. So skip this one and you're gonna single crochet into this next chain four space. Then we're gonna chain four, two, three, four, and we're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space. So jump over here. Then in this next single crochet, we're gonna work a cluster, chain two cluster. So a cluster is yarn over, insert your hook into that next single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and when you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, and there's your little cluster. Then chain two, and let's work another cluster into that same single crochet. Yarn over, insert into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, insert into the same single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three, and there's your second cluster. 
Now we're gonna single crochet into this next chain four space. And then we're gonna repeat four times, chain four, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space. So there's one, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space. There's two, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space. There's three, and one more time, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet into that next chain four space. So just make sure you have one, two, three, four little spaces. Now on this next single crochet, we're gonna work our clusters again. So cluster, just like we did before. And then chain two, and then another cluster. All of that into that single crochet. So there you go, cluster, chain two, cluster, into that single crochet. Then you're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four, three, four, and we're gonna do that again, single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four. When you reach your center chain two space, we're gonna work a shell into that. So a shell, again, is just uh, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And boop. So there's our center shell, and we're going to walk down the other side of our shawl. So go ahead and chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space, and do that again. Chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space, and then into the single crochet, work your cluster, chain two, cluster. So cluster. chain two, and another cluster into that same single crochet. Super cute. Then you're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space. Then you're gonna chain four, single crochet in the next chain four space, and we're gonna do that four times. So there's one, chain four, three, four, single crochet in the next chain four space. There's two of them. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet in the next chain four space. That's three. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet in the next chain four space. So that's four. Make sure you have four spaces. One, two, three, four. And then into the next single crochet, work your cluster, chain two, cluster. So here's our little cluster. Boop and then our chain two, and then another cluster, all into that single crochet. Go ahead and give it a look, make sure everything looks good. Then you're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four, three, four. Do it again, single crochet into the next chain four space, and chain four, and then you're just gonna double crochet into that last stitch. Here's row 11, we've got our little clusters here and those are gonna be the start of our diamonds. For row 12, we're gonna go ahead and turn and we're gonna start, of course, with our little stacked single crochet. And then you're gonna go ahead and double crochet into that same stitch. Now chain two, and you're gonna single crochet into this chain four space. Then chain four and single crochet into the next chain four space. Then into this single crochet here, which is right next to our cluster, we're gonna work cluster, chain two, cluster. So into the single crochet, cluster, chain two, and another cluster. Super cute, so we're forming our diamond here. Now you're gonna single crochet into this chain two space between your clusters. And then in this next single crochet next to our cluster, we're gonna work cluster, chain two, cluster. So there's one cluster, there's our chain two, and another cluster into that same single crochet. There you 
There you go, sort of like a little half diamond so far. Then you're gonna single crochet into the chain four space, chain four, three, four, and single crochet into the next chain four space. And we're gonna do that three times. So there's one, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space. There's two, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet into the next chain four space. So there's three. Then into the single crochet next to our cluster, we're gonna work cluster, chain two, cluster. So there's our cluster, our chain two, and our cluster all into that single crochet next to the cluster from our previous row. So make sure that looks good. Then you're gonna go ahead and single crochet into this chain two space between the clusters from the previous row. And then in the next single crochet over here, which is on the other side of this cluster, you're gonna work cluster, chain two, cluster. Cluster, chain two, and cluster. Now you're gonna single crochet into this next chain four space, chain four, three, four, do that again. Single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four. Now we're at our center, so we're gonna work a shell into our chain two space. Double crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet and double crochet, all into that chain two space. So make sure everything's looking good and we'll walk down the other side of our shawl. Chain four, and you're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space and do that again. Chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space. Then into the single crochet next to the cluster from the previous row, work a cluster, a chain two, and a cluster. Make sure that looks good. You've got your cluster, chain two, cluster. And then in this chain two space between our clusters from the previous row, work a single crochet. Jump over to this next single crochet on the other side of this cluster and work cluster, chain two, cluster. One cluster, a chain two, and another cluster into that space, into that single crochet. So make sure everything looks good. We've got our little diamond taking shape here. Then you're gonna single crochet into the chain four space. Then you're gonna repeat three times, chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space. Again, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space. One more time, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space. Here we are again, we need to form more of our diamond. So here's our single crochet next to our cluster. So into that single crochet work a cluster, a chain two, and a cluster. And then into this chain two space, you're gonna work a single crochet. Jump over to the next single crochet and work your cluster, chain two, cluster. Cluster, chain two, and cluster. And then go ahead and single crochet into this chain four space. Chain four, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next chain four space. Then chain two and work two double crochets into that final stitch. One and Two. Here's what we've got with row 12. We've got our center here and then our little diamonds are starting to take shape. For row 13, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with our stacked single crochet into that first stitch. And boop. And then you're gonna work a two double crochet increase into that same stitch. So just work your two double crochets, one and two. And then go ahead and double crochet into this next double crochet. Now chain four and single crochet into the chain four space. 
chain four, three, four, and single crochet into the chain two space. So right here, and that's between our little clusters. Now in this single crochet here, you can see our little diamond shape. So this center single crochet, we're gonna work cluster, chain two, cluster. So there's our cluster, chain two, and boop, cluster. And you can see how this is forming our little diamond, so cute. Now you're gonna single crochet into this chain two space between these clusters here. Then you're gonna chain four and single crochet into the next chain four space. And we're gonna do that three times. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet into the next chain four space. Do it again, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet into the next chain four space. Then chain four, two, three, and four, and you're gonna single crochet into the chain two space between our little clusters. Then in this single crochet here, sort of in the center of this diamond, you're gonna work cluster, chain two, cluster. So there's our cluster, our chain two, another little cluster. Super cute, make sure that all looks good. Then you're gonna single crochet into the chain two space here between these clusters from the previous row. Then chain four. And single crochet into the next chain four space. And you're gonna do that again, chain four, three, four, and single crochet into the next chain four space. Then chain four, and we're gonna work a shell into our center chain two space. So again, that's just two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets. All right, so make sure that all looks good, and then we're gonna walk down the other side. So start with a chain four, three, four, and you're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space. And let's do that again, chain four, and single crochet into the next chain four space. Now you're gonna single crochet here, chain four again, sorry, two, three, and four, and you're gonna single crochet here into this chain two space between these little clusters from the previous row. So work your single crochet there, then jump over to this single crochet here, sort of in the center of our diamond, and you're gonna work your cluster, chain two, cluster, So cluster, chain two, and cluster. So then jump over here to the chain two space between these clusters from our previous row and work a single crochet. Then chain four, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space, and we're gonna do that three times. One, two, three, and four, single crochet into the next chain four space. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet into the next chain four space, and then chain four, two, three, and four. Single crochet in the chain two space between our clusters. In our single crochet, work cluster, chain two, cluster. Cluster, chain two. Cluster. Then single crochet in the chain two space, and chain four, three and four. Single crochet into the next chain four space. Chain four, three, four. Then you're gonna double crochet into this double crochet over here. So the second one from the end. And then you're gonna work a three double crochet increase into that final stitch. So it's just three double crochets into the final one. One, two, and three. Here's row 13 for you. We've got our little diamonds taking shape, which you'll really be able to see once you block your shawl. You can see how that's gonna open up all those gorgeous lacy stitches.
And the rest of the pattern is very similar. So now that you know how to get started and you know all of the special stitches for the shawl, you should be golden. And it does have a beautiful border if you would like to work that as well. And all the details are in the pattern for that for you. When you're finished, make sure to block your shawl to open up all of those beautiful stitches and really show your gorgeous shawl off in all of its glory. I really feel like this project will become a treasure for you or whomever you decide to give it to. So infuse all of your love into it, knowing it will be treasured for years to come. We hope you love this pattern. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next week with another new design. Bye!